Well, in electron, electron microscopy, since the, the uh, invention of this by Druska, no? And so the idea was to use the short de Broglie wavelength of uh, electrons to, to be able to map small things, no? to, to make, basically do microscopy. Uh, then eventually, uh, with the development of, uh, of uh, electron spectrometers and better resolution for for the energy of the electrons, basically to make making them monochromatic and being able to resolve the the spectrum of the transmitted electrons after interacting with a specimen, and then people were able to uh, uh, study the excitations in 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 that uh, in a specimen, different specimens, no? uh, and so. These excitations can be optical, uh, and therefore there can be nanophotonic systems. So, so uh, since since the boom of nanophotonics in the last I don't know 20 years or something, no. So, electron microscopy has been more and more instrumental in providing information, detailed information of maps of excitations or spectral information combined with with nanometer spatial resolution, right? Now, the, what was missing was the temporal resolution. The field of ultra-fast uh, electron microscopy basically combines the ultra-fast optics, so the ability to make uh, femtosecond laser pulses, uh, with electron microscopy. Now you make the femtosecond electron pulses to generate photoelectrons that are now femtosecond electron pulses, and then you also uh, study with, say, for example, pump probe, pumping the, the specimen with femtosecond uh, lasers and then probing with femtosecond electron pulses, then, then you gain two things. One of the things is you can uh, uh, synchronize these, these pulses or study the, what happens as a function of, of delay. And so you gain temporal resolution in that range, no? in the range of, of femtosecond. Uh, at the same time, you can, you can increase the intensity of the lasers without damaging the material because it's, it's very uh, concentrated in time and make the interaction between electrons and, and light so strong that you uh, basically open up new phenomena that were not investigated before. This is strong interaction between light and, 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 uh, and electrons mediated by polaritons and, and, and basically nanophotonic uh, uh, things. No? Let's say current trends in this, uh, in this uh, field are now to go to increasingly smaller uh, uh, time scales, spatial uh, um, scales, and at the same time introducing quantum degrees, degrees of freedom, so you can manipulate uh, uh, quantum states, or also find out about quantum states, like doing quantum tomography. This, these are uh, things that are currently being investigated in this field. So it's, it's becoming uh, like more uh, versatile.